الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله Putting our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one of the greatest forms of ibadat, qalbiya, in which a person puts their trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. By having اعتماد على الله وفعل أسباب by putting their trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and striving to attain whatever they're trying to attain وفعل أسباب and it shows us that for the mu'min in accordance with the اتقاد of أهل السنة is that tawakkul is something which is a form of ibadah that involves the heart but it also involves the limbs and that a person must strive to attain the various endeavors that they're trying to attain and this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks, asks from us. For to walk Allah, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders us to rely upon Him, to seek His support and assistance and favor. And again, as the ulama mentioned, that that requires making an effort, a conscious effort, to attain our goals. So for example, the person who wishes to have a child, then they will strive to get married and strive to use the means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them which is halal and then putting their trust as far as the results with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone leaving their heart with Allah azza wa jal and we're going to read from a fantastic treatise of Ibn al-Qayyim soon in which he speaks in depth about this issue of tawakkul on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and gives a vast, uh, numerous examples on how the believer can be better and how the believer can, uh, in the itiqad or aqidah of Ahl sunnah with regards to the issue of tawakkul, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and make us from the mutawakkaleen. على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم